And it's the appreciator again. Yeah, PQ, a.k.a. Brett, here again, talking at you, appreciating, and I, I, continuing to appreciate this uh, new setup that uh, it's just so good. Um, yeah, the Minbi and Sylv inspired me to do this, and uh, it, it, it's just about the best thing that ever happened in my podcasting history. And I'm glad to be back. I want to make sure that you caught the big appreciation showcase, which gets yeah, daunting. There's over four hours of curated craziness that is stuff I like that I thought you might like to hear. And while I understand that for some of you, that's just asking too much, but should you give it a chance and just kind of scooch around and listen to the parts that catch your ear? And by all means, let me know what you think, because uh, your appreciation is very important. And if uh, you've got anything to say or ideas, I am very open to hear what you think. Um, yeah, changes here. Um, that because I'm eating a better diet, I am looking into all sorts of things, including uh, there are these services online that will send you these meals. And no, I haven't actually eaten one yet, but I will be keeping you apprised of how I make out as I work with Cook Unity is the name of the company. And they've got chefs, and at least on paper, these meals look awesome. And let's face it, I have been eating out of cans and frozen stuff and sugared cereals. My diet, uh, it's a miracle that I still walk this earth with the absolute nonsense that I've been subsisting on telling myself, well, I'm not getting fat, that whether or not my uh, arteries are clogging, um, that the sugar is just rotting me from the inside, all this salt, get, Lord knows what too much salt does, but we're getting it under control. And these things, I mean, if they're viable, this could be like a whole new future. And I'm getting... The next thing I'm getting is a couple of convection burners. There's no stove here at the uh, magical... But this studio has yet to have a new name, although I'm, I'm rolling a couple around in my head. And if you have any ideas yourself as to uh, what we might call this place, um, I am so game. And uh, I'm changing... The uh, format of the show image, um, I, I like the one that I used for the big appreciation showcase, and until I come up with something, I, I'm, I'm going to confer with my experts. We're going to go with that image, and you know, on YouTube, since this is an audio production, it really, you know, just... Look at anything. You don't have to have the screen on. You can browse, or you can just listen to it through your speakers. And of course, if you're listening on the Overnight Scape Underground, that doesn't matter because uh, there is no audio content. I just figure it's superfluous at this point until I really get a feel for if I'm going to change the image every time, have something pertinent as opposed to, I don't know, uh, I, I've thought that I've been doing things just to be random and artsy, but that's also kind of being lazy. And laziness, I, I didn't even notice the things that I was doing out of sheer convenience, but uh, now I am picking up on that. And I think it's important to act on these things and make this the best possible appreciation for your ears. No, that, that, that would just be great. I mean, and, and here's some of the meals that I'm looking at for my uh, next order. I mean, there's just, let, let's take a look here. Hippie bowl with Caribbean braised lentils and turmeric rice. 
or how about a cannellini bean salad with seared salmon, or maybe a poached shrimp salad with artichokes and tomatoes, or Thai tri-colored quinoa, and I hate the word, but a veggie bowl. The word veggie, I don't know. It just, I, if veggies aren't cute. Maybe I will develop the idea that veggies are cute. I mean, I don't call, uh, when I'm carnivorous, I don't call it my meaty. It, I, it just doesn't. But trying new foods, eating better. I mean, last night, there is a restaurant here in uh, Truth or Consequences, New Mexico, called the Giddy Up Cafe. And they make uh, healthy eating is their um, kind of theme. And I tried shrimp and grits. And it was just a revelation in taste. I mean, I never thought I liked grits. I always saw grits as like some half-assed type of oatmeal. But boy, you should have seen the appreciator appreciating as he dug in to that delicious food. Um, and I'm just inspired. Uh, while uh, Minby and Sylvia were around uh, visiting, I ate some wonderful stuff that uh, they prepared. And uh, we went out to a couple places and also ate splendid foods that I, some things that I thought I didn't even like. So I am now in a process of everything that I thought that I didn't like. I am being open and trying new foods. I, I, this is, it's, it's an adventure and hopefully you're enjoying joining me. I, I'm just having a great time here. In other stuff, let's not just talk about me and my lifestyle changes, because you might not appreciate that. Uh, I finally started uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's new series, FUBAR. While this is nothing earth-shattering or fabulous, it's really decent. Not decent. It's good Schwarzenegger. That guy, I've always had an appreciation for him and loved uh, he's one of those people who just has this charisma. And whatever you put Arnold Schwarzenegger in, to me, it's watchable, it's enjoyable. And I don't think there's anything he's been in that I thought was just plain awful and unwatchable. Yeah, some of it wasn't. And FUBAR, it's interesting. It's kind of a Mission Impossible theme, like caper. I, I, I hate spoiling stuff. At least for now, I will just say it's on Netflix. It's kind of a caper action with a little comedy and irony and really clever writing and caper stuff. I mean, this isn't going to win any huge awards, but it's good entertainium. And hey, that's one of the highest recommendations that I can give anything. Um, another thing that well let's let's go back a little bit um when i was a kid well one of the first musics that i liked was the west side story soundtrack and the, everybody had it when i was a kid that was i think one of the best selling albums of its times and i'm then talking you know this is the old man driveling again but in the early 60s West Side Story, first it was a big Broadway show, and then they made the movie of it with Natalie Wood as, I think she's the biggest star in it, the guy who played Tony. I can't even remember his name. And I didn't see the movie until years and years later. Um, just the songs and the music was, like I say, as a kid, uh, right up there with the Beatles, I thought the West Side Story soundtrack was swell. And at a certain point, uh, let, let's see if we can look it up and find out here. I'm not sure when it was. It must have been around 1971, I'd say. Somewhere thereabouts, because it doesn't say here. Uh, 
they finally got the rights to show it on TV. And this is a problem with anything that's based on Broadway show. It's hard to get the film rights and then to show it on TV. Orgy and Bess is another example. Um, the Hell's a Poppin' movie still is not officially officially released on DVD, although I think it turns up on television, although I'm not positive about that. They never showed it when I was growing up. That's the movie with Olsen and Johnson, and it's an incredible comedy, just the absurdest, madcap, goofy, it, Hell's a Poppin' is another recommendation, but let's get back to West Side Story. When they showed it on TV in the early 70s, I mean, it was incredible. Everybody who I went to school with, because this was before cable, just about everybody in school saw it. And all of a sudden, everybody wanted to have a gang and rumbles. And luckily, nobody really like hurt one another. But it, it really, kids, young men especially, us it, all me and all my friends, I mean, we'd have these pretend rumbles, and it was just so exciting. Uh, I, I don't know, I have not seen the new updated version, so I really can't say anything. I mean, it's a Spielberg film, but again, I who knows, because it was a Broadway show, has it ever been on television anywhere? I, I can't say. Um, and I'm I, I'd rather see the old one, although seeing the old one many years later, uh, probably about 10 years ago, I was a little shocked how excited I was about it. I mean, the music is still kind of cool, but even that, uh, there's something dated about it, and maybe that's why they did the update. And I'm sure the old version with the um, tension, I mean, it's Puerto Rican people against the Italian, like, white gangs and all of that. And I'm not sure how that raids by today's audience. A lot of old stuff like that doesn't. But this was something that I really appreciated and wanted to share for some reason or other here on this uh, appreciator program. Just moving along and keeping everything rolling. Um, just to give you an idea, though, because I am still very, very excited about the big appreciation showcase, because this has given me an opportunity to give you uh, a big, long... It's over four hours. You've got, of course, a couple of Vic and Sade episodes, uh, a scary old-time radio show from one of my favorite series lights out a story about the revolt of the worms ah uh, yes and uh, aside from a full long jimbo episode from 2015 we went back into the vaults and found you a classic chadcast chadcast power from 2011 a full gene shepherd episode which really has some interesting historical touches because he recounts when he went skin diving in the Red Sea in 1966. That, that's something Gene Shepard would do, is go on these travels and come back and tell the story of it on his show. And this is one of the prime examples. And he talks about Israel. I mean, 1968 was a completely different era. I mean, it was before a lot of the terrorist stuff. Uh, well worth his description of being on the Gaza Strip and his experiences with the people and places. And of course, that Gene Shepard storytelling. He goes off on it. He, he posits a question, goes off on this incredible digression. And before the end of the show, once again, he does what he does best. He can digress and then bring it all back and tie it together. So, that's something that I think you would appreciate uh, on that show. And just recently, I think on the last show, I talked about Don Joyce's show, uh, the radio show he did for many years, and it still goes on. The guy from Negative Land, Over the Edge. And no, I didn't put a whole three-hour or five-hour show, but you get a good 
40-minute clip that should give you a good idea and a sample of the magic and the weirdness and the chaos that also bubbles and comes together in different ways that uh, he presented there. And again, the big appreciation right where you found this, either on the Onsug or YouTube on the PQ River channel. Um, it's all happening all at once, good things, and moving forward into even better entertainiums. And yes, there is a little driveline, but uh, we're working on making the driveline more streamlined and palatable. And I've been playing uh, samples, as I did the last show, of my audio collage work, and this is as good a time as any to give you yet another bit of that. Oh, eh. I know it sounds a little fakey and feeble on the face of it. As I said, I really haven't seen very many. Go on, get over there! A long, slender moonbeam made of pure silver came through the window. We'll try to get a faster turnaround on these two. It's this and it's that. You know, I've always tried to figure it out. I've always trying to figure it out. I don't know what it is. But... What are these beeping? We're here in Grand Central. A lot of beeping sounds in here. It's a hydraulic lift. It was just so different. And it was presented so differently. It's a soft place on a baby's head. I like to see a streak of fun in an individual's makeup. <laughs> you never know, really, you don't. So there's your uh, shampoo update. Gee, is that fresh? Mr. Yongi Bongi Bo? Mr. Yongi Bongi Bo. How do you like them apples? Such talk, such talk. I've traveled over the world, seen many amazing things. Yeah, this is, it's the warmth is, and uh, some great voice acting there. I don't talk much, but I want to thank you. Shut up! And you can say to somebody, look, this just happened, my brother don't care. Is that the seal you got with you? You're expecting maybe a raccoon? Well, don't you think that's pretty much for me to decide? Boy, $100,000, you could just like, it is, ooh. For fun, and uh, yeah, just 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 the insignifica of it all. I expect he's enjoying the warm weather. I'm like, oh god, I I, I wasn't expecting that. It, I am so 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 happy that I got that out of my system. The whole the whole neighborhood would be out looking at the moon. Just... Uh, I'm in a parking lot. Ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to the Quiz Kids. Like those things that you're manipulated into wanting, right? You shouldn't. That's really not something that would be good to get. Anyway, I'm blabbing about nothing. Didn't really affect me at all. I mean, there's no matting down. There isn't any clogging. What a combination! That that's fascinating in and of itself. Uh, so it's 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 that uh, you get that fresh uh, perspective. Yes, I love pineapple upside down cake too. I love carrot cake. I'll give you a clue. You know, sort of similar to baseball cards or trading cards in a way. I like movies with monkeys in them. But in my mind... Like the stars that they were. Still alive. I'm still sick, too. He didn't dig it. See, this is wrong. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably buy a new one. Dr. Blinky. Anyway. Just forget that. Anyway. Oh, my God. Who lives there? <laughs> And he, he has one of those rubber stamps. He's rubber stamp. He's literally rubber stamping everything. That's his job. Just put a rubber rubber stamp all the all the stuff. Cut out. Simple as that. There's the evil and the good. That's the way it is. Who are the other two guys, Jack? And I really love Star Wars. Anyhow, Buick Special sweeps Class C of mobile gas economy run, placing first and second. Do you know of any way I could possibly learn to hate money? Yeah, there's there's just something about that random and and, and the juxtaposition. I mean, none of that was intentionally put together. Those were all random bits that I collected. 
and then ran through uh, what Winamp on its random function, as I've explained before. And, and, and that's what I get. And in the background, although it probably possibly needs more sound effect material, cohering it in the background, but it's, it's, it's always this whole show and this series of shows are a progression, hopefully, but an ongoing experiment in sound, entertaining, and uh, good things. Good things, like uh, listening to Bob Lassiter. Let us go to Seminole and say good morning, Bernadine, or good afternoon, as the case may be. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Off a great start already. Better get the kazoo ready today. Good morning. Ah, hi there, Bernadine. How are you, Bernadine? Okay. It's going to be a long one. I'm Bernadine. Yes, I know. I'm Bob. Somebody else is talking on this line. I no, no, no. Voice. No, they're not, Bernadine. You see, you're you're trying to listen to the radio and talk on the phone at the same time. And there's, yeah, there's another lady saying it. You're, you're trying to listen to the radio. Oh, the this phone this, at the same time. this could be fun. Yeah, uh-huh. Notice how that other lady went away as soon as you turned the radio down, Bernadine. I just turned it off. I know, but if you turn it back up, you'll hear that other weird lady saying strange, stupid things. Well, what is that? Oh, uh, it's, it's just something we do here to mess with your head on Saturday. Well, now, am I open? Are am you I open? open? I don't know. What are you open for, Bernadine? I want to talk to uh, Bob Lasseter. Well, go ahead. Are you Bob Lasseter? Uh, yes, I do believe I am. You don't sound like him. I don't sound like him. No. Okay, you, you got me, Bernadine. You got me. Hey, Bob? Bob, it didn't work. Come on over. Come on. Come on back here. Okay, Bernadine. Now I'm here. Go ahead. You're not him either. I'm not him either. No. Uh, uh, okay. Bob, this, this didn't work either. Oh, this lady's too sharp for this. Okay. Here he comes, lady. Uh. Hi, uh, Bernadine. This is Bob Lasseter. What can I do for you? Yes, you are Bob Lasseter. Yes, I am. I had two other men on there telling me they're Bob Lasseter. I know. We, you know, we we just do that kind of stuff on Saturday. Well, it's kind of a silly show, you know. It's just a silly show. Well, what I just wanted to know is why <sighs> you call the befuddled old ladies because they really. Love I don't you. call the befuddled old ladies. The befuddled old ladies call I just heard me. That earlier in the program. No, 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 Bernadine. What I said is befuddled old ladies call me. That's I don't call mean. them. That's, well, I didn't mean it that way. I mean, after all, like I am, I'm 79, I'm alone. Mm-hmm. But I have a lot of pep yet, and, uh, and I enjoy your program. Well, great. Well, actually, you see, Bernadine, it wasn't me. It was one of those Bob Lasseter impersonators, one of the guys you spoke with earlier. Well, why did they put them on? Well, we've got them on the payroll. There's nothing, you know, there's not much for them to do on Saturday. There's hardly anybody at the radio station on Saturday. All of the, you know, the important people get the day off. And so all of the all of the other people around here on Saturday, you know, who are basically window cleaners and janitors, now you're, uh, they, you're, you're they really take Bob part. Lassiter, right? I am really I am really Bob Lassiter, right? Now, so we let we let all the the janitors I... impersonate Bob Lassiter on Saturday morning. Pardon? We let all the janitors impersonate Bob Lassiter on Saturday morning. Come on. That's true. Now, you were talking you, to where them. Where did you used to live in New Jersey? Uh, Collingswood. Guess where I lived. Haddonfield. Newark. I'm uh, not okay. Yay. Thanks, Bernadine. You're welcome. Take care. (sighs) I just remembered an amusing incident from my childhood. It's really remarkable how he was able to play with that somebody. You know, when you phone in to a radio show, there's a delay. So you're supposed to turn down the radio or you hear yourself echoing, what, seven seconds later? And that's exactly what happened. This woman called up, and there she was, talking and hearing something different. And that's just a classic little bit of talk radio fun from Bob Lasseter, who is going to be a staple of this series of shows, and I hope you have an appreciation a master of snarkiness, kind of a guy who can say what he thinks, 
I don't know. I, I always got a kick out of his ability to deal with callers like that. Florida Radio. He did go to Chicago for a while. I always hoped he'd come to New York where I think he would have been appreciated more, but he spent several years in Chicago and it didn't quite work for whatever reason. He went back to Florida and, well, he died young because of, well, the thing that I'm fighting right now didn't take care of himself, was a big guy, ate poorly, smoked cigarettes, and the lifestyle will get you. And maybe I have a lot of friends who say, well, if I, and I used to feel this way, if I can't eat what I want and do what I want, there's no fun in life. But there is, there really is. And uh, by the way, since we last spoke about the cover art plans for The Appreciator, there's new things in the works, so keep your eye out. We've uh, made some negotiations, looked at a couple of options, and I think we have the proper solution starting uh, perhaps even with this very episode, number 18 in this ongoing series of incredible bits of audio goodness. And... Well, we'll see what happens. And we've got an Overnight Scape Central coming up in the next day or two. We'll be looking at the Beatles anthology. And in the news, I just wanted to quickly mention, there seems to be some sort of evidence that they've proven that governments have access to UFOs and ETs. And as I've said, I'm skeptical because this has been, since I was a kid, flying saucers and Martians, and the idea of it absolutely appeals to me. However, I kind of wonder how they could hide it for so long. I've always felt that they couldn't. People can't keep their, well, just because I am very uh, tough keeping secrets doesn't mean there aren't people who can, but it really would seem unlikely that since the 40s, we have hidden the fact with actual people knowing that there are ETs, real aliens, and real alien technology that we may well be using in our everyday lives. Wondering what you think on that. And if you have any comments, you can always reach the appreciator as uh, we develop, change up, do things differently, and uh, do our best to bring you the entertainment and the driveline because, you know, that's what I do, or at least think I can do. The email address is kpqr.torc at gmail.com. And we're going to go out with another little bit of audio collage. The neat thing about using the audio collage in this program is sometimes it's hard to tell where the audio collage ends and I begin to think about it. And in the meantime, set the controls for the heart of the fun. It causes you to twitch. Ignorance is bliss. It really is. I'm trying to decide... Whether to go in or to just go through the drive through He always bowed. And of course, what they would do, they would have to come to the obvious conclusion that no recognizable uh, uh, intellect resides on this planet. All right. Cleaning eyes off. Oh, no, definitely not. She's left-handed. And then just talk into the microphone. Use simple phrases and precise instructions. See you tomorrow. Keeps you going all day. But don't worry. Uh, it's a very dull story. I find that very interesting. We're just in time. We have stumbled into a major crime. They've got the girl all fright. Now that's not nice. I think she is the subject of a sacrifice. He picked up the lump of feces. 
When he was a young man working on a farm, he keeled over from the heat. Sure, sure, that's right. 